This is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! Tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. it smells like Nephil. No, oh, this is considerably worse. That was tough. Where do you think it's taking us next? I do not know. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Enemies ahead! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
where are we? Look! We're back in Midgar! There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. Ah, I can read what this says now. But it's a name. Goindo! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? To work it is. Something on your mind, boy? for the boy. Hey, that 
Triple Anonymous You again. You take care now. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well.
a minute. This isn't going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Kier must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry. Will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the bus. Once more to the horn! You two going in or what? Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved, something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. So, Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right. Freya was Baldur's mother all along. Snow? 
Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself. And all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. like the heat, Brock. Huh. Heat's damn useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prod from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls are cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Another one here. This one's called... Suiter. Must be a fire giant. Aye. The first and original. He makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm. That may be a matter of perspective. wants to know if we're ready to train? The gate's closed. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Roger, on your right! It'd be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly.
So, nobody lives here, do they? Only a fire giant could be at home here, and according to prophecy, we won't see them again till Ragnarok. <laughs> Oh! 
So what do you think, Mimir? What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the King of Gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. <gasps> Let's sort you out. Can I get you, you little fart? Sure, that's a load off your mind. What you need, kid? You think what you want? Be shorty. What's it gonna be? Now, what was the
wants to go where he can't reach. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye. It ranks among his foremost obsessions. But that doesn't make any sense, Mimir. Oh? When did I stop making sense? You're saying Baldur tracked us down to find the way to Jotunheim. But that was before we knew Jotunheim is where we needed to go. That's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Jotunheim. So he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future. Control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! 